for pregame, for postgame, and hits on shows throughout the week. It is our pleasure to welcome back to the score, Olin Krutz. What's up, O? What's up, guys? Thanks for having me back on. It's good to see you, Olin, and he's on the Twitch stream right now. It's going to be great to talk football with you. Nobody better at breaking down the Bears than you, man. We're glad you're back. Why? We weren't sure you were ever going to do do this again, but here you are. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't sure either. Uh, after Mitch reached out after the last season, kind of stepped away. Well, he didn't step away, ma made a mistake, and, and got thrown out for a little bit. But, um, you know, Mitch called again and asked me about doing analyst work again. And I, I did enjoy it, and especially working with, with you guys and getting to know the business. But... You know, like last year, kind of figured the Bears wouldn't be very good. And, and, and how many times can you say the Bears are bad and the Bears are not going to be good for a while? So uh, it was good to watch them last year, watch Justin Fields, how dynamic he was. Uh, some of the moves they're making are, are exciting. So so hopefully they get a little better this year. And, and it looks like they may be hopefully taking a few steps in the right direction. He picked a good year to skip, didn't he? He did, but now I'm a little worried. So wait a minute, Olin, if they're bad, are you out again? Because yeah. <laughs> the Bears could be bad. Hey, they could be bad. And that is true. But, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think so. But, you know, it's, it's fun to watch them try to rebuild this. It's going to be fun to watch uh, the new president, Kevin Warren, try to change the standard there, trying to get that building uh, moving in the right direction. Uh, can Ryan pose his draft picks and the way he assembles this team can they finally get back to the playoffs and can they win a game? So do you think Justin Fields is ready? Like, let's let's get right into it. Like, year three, year two in the system. If you're special in recent history, this is when quarterbacks take the leap. What are you expecting? I'm, I'm hoping that he takes a leap in the passing game like everybody's been talking about. Now, in the with his legs... Um, he's about as dynamic as a player as we've seen in a while in the NFL. Guy who's, who's fun to watch. You know, even though uh, they were bad last year, at, when you still turn the TV on to see what this guy was about to do. Now, eventually, that has to lead into winning games, and he has to improve in the past game and on all the things everyone's talked about. So, I'll be completely honest with you. I don't know, really know what to expect from this team. I don't know what to expect from uh, DJ Moore. I don't know what to expect from their new right tackle that they took early in the draft. They finally got an offensive lineman. I don't know what to expect from Tevin Jenkins at left guard. Uh, you don't know what to expect from a lot of these guys on offense. Uh, will they take the next step, right? And you really want to watch the guys, as exciting as young guys are in year, in their first year in the rookie class, you want to watch the guys in years three and four. And if those will those guys take a step? Will Cole Komet uh, develop into a top five tight end? Will Tevin Jenkins uh, stay healthy? and be one of the most dominant uh, left guards in the NFL. Those are the guys that I'm really keeping my eye on. Has, have they developed under this new regime? Have they developed in that building? Because like you guys know, and I'm sure we've talked about on the score many a times, they need more blue chip guys. They need guys top five in their position. Olin Krutz, um, as we have been paying attention to the Bears offensive linemen in the offseason, it seems like, let me do the math, two, maybe two of them, no, I think all of them are working with you. Is that is that <laughs> true, sir? Can you confirm or deny that the entire <laughs> offensive line is training with you, and which one of them is going to be the best, sir? No, uh, not all of them. <laughs> I, I got to work with Braxton Jones and Jatari Carter a little bit uh, in Jan. I think it was February, March. So uh, they got about, I don't know, you would say 68 workouts in each and uh, just try to teach them about what, what they need to work on and what I think uh, they need to work on to improve their game and become pros and get better at what they need to do. Now, I haven't seen them in a while, but uh, did get a chance to work with them and obviously always enjoy working with young offensive linemen and trying to figure out uh, how to get them better, uh, how, how to train them, look for their flaws because uh, when you're training NFL guys, it's a lot different than high school or college. You're really trying to throw darts and find exactly what's wrong with their game because obviously if you're playing in the NFL, you are a really good football player and you're really good at a lot of things. So you're trying to find one thing. You're trying to find a leverage point that will help them the most. And that's really what I was trying to do with those two guys. But didn't get a ton of time to work with them, but it was still fun uh, to get them into my gym and get them to train a little bit. Can Braxton handle the bull rush from a big, strong defensive end this year? 
you know, I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, if he did all the training he was supposed to do and, and worked on his angles and staying square and getting his, using his arms long and trying to catch it in his hips and hamstrings, uh, he, he, maybe he can. But uh, he is a guy, I'll tell you what, when I got him in the gym and you asked him to do something, you see why he played early as a rookie because you don't have to explain it to him twice. Mm. So I would not be surprised, to be honest with you, Speeds, if he fixed it because he's just that kind of guy. If you tell him how to fix something, he is going to work at it. He's obsessed with getting better in the game of football, which uh, you need to be. You need to be to get better uh, uh, in, in the NFL to actually succeed. So I was really, really impressed with that part of what, what I learned about him when he came to my gym, the part of just – I explained something to him once, and that was all I needed to explain to him because, like, you guys can imagine, like most football players, uh, you need to explain it to them ten times, get a grease board, draw it up, and they still don't know it. 